Hi, this is Stacia, and I just played a 15-10 standard game on chess.com. I played the weight pieces against Dominica Carrasio, rated 15-21. I was rated 15-24, and so pretty uh, evenly matched opponent, a female player as myself, which I don't get that often, so a nice treat today. Um, all right, and I opened with d4. And I face knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3. And now um, my opponent has a choice of moves here. Um, she could play d5, which would lead into a Catalan for me, uh, or but it actually transposes into a queen's gambit declined. You have bishop b4 check, which is the Bogo Indian. And another main one is b6. And this is probably the main move from this position, going into a queen's Indian defense. So my opponent chose d5, and I play g3, giving us, well, you tell me, what opening is this? It is the Catalan. Okay, and my opponent chose the main line from here, d takes c4. This is kind of surprising. Um, even though it's the main line, I do not see this move very often. Um, so it kind of caught me off guard, and I had to dig into my memory banks <laughs> so I've looked at the main line, obviously, but I haven't played it in so long that I was kind of like, okay, what do I do here? And I did recall that a move like queen c2 isn't necessary immediately. What you want to do here is finish your kingside development. So we want to play bishop g2 and castle, and then only then play queen c2, looking to recapture the pawn. Now, my opponent chose... The move b5. Um, turns out this is a book move, but I don't know. I wouldn't play this way as black myself because now you have to play really precisely and watch out. You can see all my lines. Knight e5 is sort of a threat now because the bishop is x raying the rook hanging on a8. But if you play knight e5, even though it looks pretty strong, um, Black does have the defensive move knight d5. And even though this pins the knight, um, turns out this move is just fine for for black. All right, and I didn't have my engine on, so I'm going to turn it back on. Okay, and um, all right, but against b5, and I've seen this before too, I like the move a4. Um, you really got to be careful. You don't want black to get this queen side majority moving um, because these pawns could rain down and crush you. And I know that from experience. So I like the move a4, looking to undermine the pawns right away. And now black should play c6 here um, to keep the, the pawn chain strong. And when I take the b pawn, she could recapture with a c pawn. However, um, my opponent played the move bishop a6. And this is probably the first inaccurate move. Um, now, yeah, one thing that I wish I would have done better this game is I wasn't really looking closely at knight e5. The computer is now telling me it's the strongest move, not by a lot, because like I, like I was saying, black always has knight d5 to block the attack on the rook. But then that knight is pinned, and e4 is coming with tempo. So... It's not so bad, um, but it's not like it's crushing either. But I wasn't even looking that closely, I must admit. So that is something I will do more uh, the next time I, I get this line in the Catalan. Okay, and now I took, and my opponent captured with the bishop. And here, this, this explains why this is a poor choice. Because look at these pawns now. Uh, they're not so intimidating. <laughs> in fact, they just look like juicy targets now. And I was, at this point of the game, pretty happy with uh, the results of the opening already. All right, so I castled. And now a6. And, yeah, I'm not even sure I understand the point of a6. It's not like I'm attacking the bishop. Yeah, it seems like a waste of a move to me. All right, but that was her choice. And now I chose the move queen c2. And 
Queen C2 isn't a good move according to the computer. Um, I guess I just had stronger continuations. Um, the move knight e5 now is pretty strong. Um, knight c3 is strong going after this bishop. Um, yeah, I can see now that the bishop's actually undefended. This pawn is pinned due to the undefended rook on a8. So this would be a, a tempo move then. So better to um, move with a threat. But I was thinking queen c2, and I wanted to put my knight here and round up the pawn that way. And I also wanted to support the move e4, which my queen is now eyeing that square. So I'll be ready to play e4. Yeah, and now, okay, um, if you're black in the Catalan, usually the bishop's going to belong on e7. My opponent chose bishop d6. This really makes me think she didn't know this opening. Um, because of these strange moves, b5, a6, bishop a6, and now bishop d6. These are all strange moves. And I'm looking for an e4 break and even e5, and now she just made it very enticing. So, yes, yeah, so I played e4. Um, now, I have, now I have a threat. She has to deal with e5, and she played e5 herself. But... This is a huge blunder, actually, because, okay, she was trying to stop that fork, um, but now I could literally just take and fork the pieces this way. Um, I did consider that. Um, I chose to be even more cunning, I guess, and I played rook d1 first, just lining up my rook with the queen. Um, I'm still going to have the opportunity to play this fork. Okay, and the bishop's going to end up pinned. Um, she played e takes d4. So again, probably not the best move. Um, knight f to d7 was a better move. Just getting out of that fork and unpinning the bishop. Yeah, and in fact, I wonder what I would have did against that. Let's go back for a second. This is what I expected. Yeah, here I can still play d takes e5. And the bishop's still under attack. Can she play something like this? No, because the bishop's pinned again. Um, yeah, so, okay. I was just in good shape here. So rook d1, e takes d4, and now e5 was tempting, um, but I didn't want to play it because I, I didn't like the idea of d3, and I just didn't see, I didn't see why I should allow this, um, so I didn't allow it. I played knight takes d4, and I do like this move. I feel like I'm winning here. Um, so again, the bishop's actually hanging at this point because that pin is still there. But in addition to that, um, when I move my knight away, it's going to create a pin on the bishop and e5 is still coming. All right, so her move was knight c6 and this does unpin this pawn, which means the bishop is defended again. Um, but here, again, I just have my choice of moves. I could play knight takes b5, I could take the knight, I could play e5 straight away, and probably e5 straight away is the strongest, And but I chose knight c6. So I took here, the bishop took back, what I liked about this is now this pawn's hanging at the end, e5, she traded off the bishops, which was fine by me. And that's a strange move. Um, yeah, queen b8. I think black should probably just castle here and finish development. But queen b8. And now I could just play, well, I have my choice, right? I decided to go with the knight 
because if I take the bishop, the C pawn becomes a D pawn, and the pawns are a little better, They're, the structure's improved, but this way it just gets wrecked even more. <laughs> All right, and now I was a little concerned that I was undeveloped, but I knew that I was in a winning position. And my opponent checked me here. Okay. No, she moved her king first. I brought my knight in and then check. And here I decided to offer a trade of queens. I thought this might be a strong move because um, this queen is tied down to the undefended uh, well, I guess only defended by the queen um, rook in the corner here. But my opponent made a huge blunder here, just moving the bishop. So, okay, that was it. And I won the game in 20 moves. Not a common thing for me. Although, as you can see, my opponent seemed to not know the opening and not play particularly well. I checked her stats after the game. And she's like a 1,600 blitz player, <laughs> but her rapid is like 1,500, and I'm sort of the opposite. My blitz rating is a bit lower. It's like 1,300, but then my rapid is stronger. But um, yeah, so I think there's still something to be learned about the game. I do think this Catalan opening, um, the lines where black holds onto it with b5 are pretty interesting, because this turns it into a pretty tactical game where knight e5 is a lot of times working pretty well. And as you can see, well, everything went right for white. I got a really good version of this. So, yeah, bishop d6 is just not a good move. It's just not where the bishop belongs. And I think I could have played this better, but it did go pretty well after all. So, okay. Um, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment and have a great day. Bye.